These two simple things are probably the reasons you're not profitable. You can fix them today and start being profitable tomorrow. Now, there's loads of reasons you might not be profitable, but I'm putting these two as the most common, the most likely reasons, the easiest to fix reasons, and I'm going to tell you why. And slight spoiler alert, it's nothing to do with your strategy. I'm Sam, I'm not a millionaire, so why should you even listen to me? Well, I make around 1% a week. I share everything for free in my Telegram below, so you can join, see all my trades, you can decide if they're, you know, if I'm profitable or not. Last week, we actually made just over 3%, and I've been profitable for around 10 months now. So, the first thing is risk structure. What is risk structure? What is controlling risk? What does that actually mean? So simply controlling risk is just when you decide to exit trades, how much do you limit your losses to? A successful trader will typically always have a stop loss or an area where they exit a position if it goes against them a certain amount of monetary value. Then the next few questions to ask yourself are how much do you risk? Do you risk the same every trade? When exactly do you close a trade? So if you can quite easily answer those questions, then you're on track to being profitable for sure. If you can't, then you need to take a look at your journal, your trading plan, and you need to come up with clear reasons to exit. And they, they, it needs to be repeatable, okay? You need to have a repeatable strategy. If you're just randomly exiting when you feel like it, there's not much useful you know, data there. There's not much, you can't go back and look at it all and, and figure things out because it's so subjective on how you felt in that moment. You need, for example, if you enter a short position, you place your stop loss above the recent high. So before we go on to the second reason, I'm going to tell you why risk structure can make you profitable. So what I do is I trade with 1% risk and very slowly, if I'm having a losing streak, I very smallly increase the amount of risk I'm taking. Now, you might think this sounds quite ridiculous, but I've got almost two years of trade history and a journal which backs up a lot of my points so i've been profitable for around 10 months so in the last 10 months i've never had a losing streak greater than five so the way i structure risk and this is all in my journal for those that are in my society and they can see this is that i'm prepared to have an eight trade losing streak this has never happened ever even when i was not profitable i still never had an eight trade losing streak and even less so now now what this does is that it makes my losing streaks much much smaller than what they would be if i just risked the same risk every single trade so let's say i had five losers in a row and that would be minus 5%. Now with this new risk structure, it would be much greater than minus 5%. However, on that sixth trade, that will bring me back to around break even or slightly in profit or slightly in negative. Basically, the whole loss streak is much less. Now the cons of this are that yes, you could blow an account quicker, but at the same time, if you are having a 10 trade losing streak, you're probably not profitable anyway, unless you've got some crazy risk reward. If you're having a crazy losing streak, you're probably it doesn't matter what you're risking, you're just not profitable. So when you are profitable and you're seeing a decent win rate, which again, win rate isn't really something that necessarily matters in trading, it's one of the least important statistics. But when you see that your losing streaks are not that bad, you're bagging winners quite regularly, you need to go for your journal and you can understand how your risk structure can play a part to you know minimize your losing streak maximize your winning streaks all right now reason number two is leaving trades alone a lot of people think trade management is something that like every professional trader does loads so perhaps on long-term positions they check off on news and like inflation and interest rates things like that perhaps maybe but in these technical analysis trades which we're all placing and probably not basing a lot of your ideas off the interest rates and news, then managing a trade doesn't make much sense. It messes up the probabilities of trading and your strategy. You need to stop managing it and think you know what might happen. Nobody has a clue, okay? Even your strategy, which might have a slight edge, it is only just, okay? It's very random. Each trade is completely random. And what you're trying to do is be right over hundreds and thousands of trades and have a slight edge. That's what your goal is. Now, this can be done with risk structure, as we spoke about above, and number two is strategy. And your strategy will never truly work until you leave the trade alone. What I mean by this is like not moving stop loss to break even or exiting randomly because you feel like it. Most money is made when you do absolutely nothing. So for example, let's take moving your stop loss to break even. It often makes no sense for it to actually be there. It's often not above a high or a low. It just happens to be the point where you're, you entered the trade after spreads. A lot of people do this to protect their win rate, protect their ego. Okay, they don't want to suffer a loss. The moment I left trades alone and forgot about the money, in fact, I actually started risking a tiny amount of money that I literally didn't care. That's when I became profitable instantly. That week I was profitable, the next week I was profitable, and then it just kept going and going for about 10 months now. So if you want to exit a trade, you need a really good reason. Now, my personal reason is only ever it hit the stop loss. That's it. I don't exit early. I don't try and like scale in or like move stop loss to break even or like bring my take profit down. Very rarely do I do any of that. You don't want to exit because price came back to an area that you entered after spreads, which was, you know, 
quite random because what if you entered 20 minutes later would it be different who knows probably so lastly on this point the more you edit a trade the more you mess with the probabilities the more you're back to sting and like things like this make less sense now i'm not saying you can't be profitable i'm not saying that people are profitable that trade like this i'm saying it adds more headache more work for you to do and arguably the data is not as valuable remember that once you enter a trade your entry becomes trivial from that point onwards all that matters is your target and your invalidation the point you entered it it's irrelevant, okay? It doesn't matter. So lastly, before we wrap it up, why did I not choose strategy as a reason that can make you profitable today? If you saw my recent video, this backs up the reasons. Even a great strategy can only give you a small edge. A lot of trading is really random and you know, a good strategy that you can repeat gives you a slight edge over many, many trades, each individual trade completely random, which is why it's more important to have a repeatable strategy where you leave the trade alone and you let the odds play out and to manage your risk. That is arguably a lot more important than your strategy. You need to just stick to your rules, whatever they may be, because it all tends to work. Then you need to create some sort of edge, such as in my case, I very smallly increase risk after a loser. Now, I've done this very specifically, and it's there's no weird, like specific calculation, like plus one unit of risk every trade. There's nothing like that. It's very specific to me and my journal and my average loss streak, my average win streak, my average loss, things like that. You need to make it specific to you. You know, making money in trading is not in the five seconds it takes you to hit buy. It's in the work, like on the weekends, the back testing, understanding your journal, discovering your win rate, your loss rate, seeing which setups work better than others. It's that. It's spending, you know, at least ideally like 20, 30 minutes a day, either back testing or going through previous positions and working out which is your best setup, which is your worst, doing what more of what works and less of what doesn't. Now, if this is all a bit overwhelming, I run Sam's Effect Society where we have like a mini Discord group. You get to see my trades. We have group calls. You get a free one-to-one -one with me upon joining where we, you know, craft up some trading rules for you. On the premium plan, you get a one-to-one -one every single month. Now, this isn't for everyone. This is more for people that want to fast track some progress. If they're feeling a bit overwhelmed by trading and a bit stuck and a bit lost, if you're on the right path and you're got your journal set up and you're analyzing data yourself, you don't necessarily need that, but it can help and it can help fast track progress. It might be good to learn off someone that's perhaps a little bit ahead of you. You get to see all my trades, my journal, exactly how I structure risk. It's all in there for free. There's a free seven day trial. So there should be a link in the description. Check it out and I'll see you next time.